Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to start the one-time payment and whenever we discuss about the one-time payment, there are two options you can add according to your client requirement or you can prefer if client is not requested so you can perform this according to your need. So Stripe provide us a checkout, right? Checkout to where we don't need to build the form. Stripe provide us a form where we need to fill our values and then Stripe will automatically validate that it's uh, coming from the right source, card is correct, its expiration is correct and so on. So we don't need to manually do these things, right? So this is the checkout and first we are going to implement this checkout. Okay, so Stripe is uh, telling us that we need to provide something like this write this code and then you can do this so i'm going to copy this and i'll explain that everything so let's go to your route file i'm going to open the web.php file and here i'm going to paste this basically i'm pasting this out because i want to save your time uh, and uh, i don't want to make this tutorial too much longer i'm going to explain this uh, with line by line okay we have created a closure right a uh, closure without a controller route where we name this slash checkout and here we need the price id right so at that time we don't have any price id so how we can get that price id so this you can get this from the stripe or you can create this price here and then return this uh, price id here right but i'm going to create this from the dashboard and i'll engage you at how you can create this out right okay just go here and uh, search here product okay and uh, click on that here and let's say you want to add a product to uh, something like uh, and i'm going to say that to uh, mm -hmm, what should i need to add to okay i'm going to add the lemon max sorry guys I'm just getting uh, getting this word in my mind so that's why I'm doing this getting more about the Lama Max I'm just writing the dummy text here here you can upload the e image so this will be appeared when someone is subscribing here there is option of recurring and one time at that time I'm doing selecting the one time and what should be this uh, price so i'm going to assign a by default price uh, uh, 12 dollar or maybe a 10 dollar right and make sure this currency should be same as you mentioned in your dot env file if i open the dot env file here we have mentioned the currency right so it should be same so i'm going to use this usd otherwise your transaction will not work you need to match this with your application currency and your stripe currency just click on this add product and uh, yes this lemon max is added and you will click on that so it will open more detail about this lemon max and now we have one price right and then this price has an id if you will click on that price so each price have their own id so this id is required to uh, basically fetch the product in detail and then uh, add this into our checkout so here this one is a price id right price uh, underscore one and so on just click on that and it's copied and go back here and at that time i'm shooting this for the educational purposes so i'm not going to add this into the variables i'm directly pasting this out now we got the stripe price id and here you will mention the quantity so by default i'm choosing the one quantity okay what i'm doing here is basically saying that request to if my user is logged in i'm saying that he want to check out and when he want to check out i want to pass this stripe id with this quantity and if these will uh, work so if payment is successful it will return to the success success url and otherwise return to the cancel url so i'm going to let me um, uh, create them as a closure without the uh, needing the controller i'm going to say, say just a uh, success page just something like this not too much fancy okay okay something like this i'm going to do this with the same approach okay just remove that function and then 
I don't okay here I need the bracket okay fine so now I have three routes two are routes are for the cancel page whenever someone will open this cancel page basically this one is a simple cancel page if I go here and visit slash cancel so to return the cancel page right if I'll ah okay so why okay it's not going on the illegal offset okay I'm getting in some error okay basically this one would be the get right because we are not loading any of the view just get refresh and getting the cancel page and then if I open the success page this would be the same right so that's what I have created two routes where I'll just display that message that our transaction is successful okay so here first we need to log in our user so we are not getting this through any of the requests so i'm going to remove that out and we need to first get the login user object right so how we can do that first we need to log in our user so here i'm going to say that let's say our you know we have created one we have migrated our database and now we need to seed our user right so i'm going to run the and db seed command why i'm running this out because by default uh, um, when we install the laravel 11 or older version uh, it comes with the database seeder which is seeding a test user right this one and then it's also creating a factory for that to define this user right so at that time our user table is empty right and whenever i'll run this command it will add one user db seed seeding completed refresh and yes we got this test user with the password password is password it's defined here right password okay perfect now i'm going to save my email here right and my password i don't want to create any form to uh, submit my user from uh, with a login request and we will log in i'm just defining the relation uh, i'm just defining at the top without getting the form so here i'm going to say that auth attempt to right attempt and then this uh, attempt accept the email right i'm passing this email and then password and i'm passing the password right okay fine uh, so here we can apply this in the if condition if we are getting this if uh, if these credentials are correct i want to say that to return to the uh, return to return where return uh, redirect on the home page or just to slash home which doesn't exist but i'm just redirecting this for purposes where i want to check that it's logged in or not right so in the uh, slash or right, we can create the another route here to log in our user so let me create a new route rather than uh, overriding this existing ULT I'm going to say that login and then this would be the function uh, guys I'm doing this with the very basic stuff don't worry it's I'm doing this same thing here just in a separate route okay I have pasted that out and uh, now it's good when we attempt login it will try to log in and then return that on the home page or return this login message just go here and say slash login and it says uh, home not defined so it means that our user is logged in now right if i go here now on the uh, here on the checkout page here at the top i want to uh, uh, basically print my user login user so how we can get this auth user this will return the login user so i'm going to say that return the login user in the checkout okay just test this out check out hit enter and yes you can see that we are getting the login user right okay perfect we are getting the login user and now what we need to do here is we need to set up this same user and here we need to say that to a user object and then we are applying the checkout on our login user so if our user is logged in so this will drag to the checkout page and then we will perform the transaction so i'm going to give it a refresh so then this will be redirected on the stripe uh, 
uh, checkout page let's get refresh and it's refreshing the web page and yes it's redirected on the stripe dashboard and it's redirected with the lemon max which is ten dollar and here getting more about the lemon max right and it also pick up that user email which is logged in so here he will enter the card and at that time we are in the local environment right so i'm going to do with the dummy transaction 4242 this one is our dummy card by the way you can explore more cards on the stripe documentation which are the dummy and here you need to add any of the future date and then three cvv so here you need to run uh, add your card holder name and then you can also save this out if you want to save that and click on that pay and if this payment will be successful it will be returned on the success page and if you will go back from here so it will be redirected to the cancel page let's get refresh so click on this pay and yes and you can see this it's now returning the success page right it means that our payment is made successfully and if i go here and here you can find the transactions details in the stripe to make sure that you got that transaction right okay just set that transactions okay why my internet is not loading let me debug that my internet is connected okay it's connected but somehow it's not loading this out transact okay okay so it's not loading out let me okay yes it's loaded now just click on this transaction and here you can see this we got this ten dollar transactions on the 10th september and at that time i'm shooting this on the 10th september okay and time is 8 35 and it's 8 36 so it's mean that this one is our transaction and here you can see this test at example who is the user who made this payment right further you can explore more that uh, what are the other parameters it's four call digit details and so on things so guys we successfully made our first payment using the checkout session right so it's basically redirecting this on the second page and then user is filling that information but sometime client asks that uh, we don't want to add this out uh, they have a registration page and they want to only add the input and then there is a, a button uh, for pay so then when they will click on that so they want to process the payment there rather than redirecting on the next page so how we can implement that kind of functionality in our application so i'm going to do this in the next video bye bye guys